it's a shame, total shock, and I just can't believe it. It's the last thing anybody on Southeast Hull Street and Stewart would ever expect. I just don't know how it's going to affect the people on the street because this is a very quiet neighborhood. Friday morning, a friend knocked on the door of 81-year-old Donald Smith and his wife, 80-year-old Lorraine Smith. The friend got concerned when they didn't answer, so he called police. Deputies found the couple dead inside. Sheriff William Snyder says there was, quote, obvious signs of trauma. We just don't know the motive. We, we don't have a definitive suspect. Uh, there's just so many unanswered questions. I've just known him, him and his wife were very friendly people. Paul Crowley lives a few doors away from the Smiths. He's known them for 35 years. He got along with everybody. I don't know that he ever had a, a bad, I never heard nothing bad about him. It's just a shock. Times are definitely changing. That's, what's, that's a worry to everybody. It's scary. It could happen anywhere. It could happen anywhere. The sheriff is not releasing details of the crime scene other than to say there's no sign of forced entry. At this point, detectives do not know when the couple was killed. What they do know is their car, a 2007 silver Lincoln sedan, had been missing for at least a few days. Police found it about four miles away from the house near the intersection of Jefferson Street and Bedford Drive. Investigators are checking security cameras in the area, hoping to learn who left that car in the neighborhood, hoping that will lead them to the killer of a couple who had been married for decades. And he was working on trying to have a nice retirement. And, you know, you get into your 80s, that's what your 70s and 80s, that's what you're planning on doing. And Sheriff Snyder says because of all the unknowns in this case, he wants all residents around here to take their security very seriously for now. He's also going to have some added police presence in this neighborhood. In Stewart, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News. <laughs>